Bitcoin has turned into a huge Ponzi scheme. Now, Bitcoin was originally created as a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer sharing. As if you look at this historic graph, you could see here where it used to be 10 cents a Bitcoin, and now it has gone parabolic. Look at the price up here. If you would have bought it for 10 cents a Bitcoin, now it's worth $47,000, and it could just continuously go up. Elon Musk, I think, invested $1 billion of Tesla into Bitcoin. So you could pay $47,000 for a Bitcoin and it could just continue to go up. Or, but you can see how volatile it is there. It could just go straight back down and it could go straight back down to 10 cents and stay there. And it could go to where nobody even uses it. It was originally not created for this. A lot of people, what they're doing now is they're purchasing the Bitcoin in just to see if it'll go up. I call that like a Ponzi scheme. You can look right here on this picture, a way to grow poor, a way to grow rich. Now, even back in the old days, this is 1875, uh, they knew speculation, playing the lottery, a gold mine bubble, railroad bubble. You know, people just wanted to get in, put some money in, just hope it just keeps going up forever. And they need to add Bitcoin to this over here on the left. But you can see these other people over here working hard, creating value in society, not trying to get easy money or extract value out of society by buying up something and waiting for the value to go up on it. But the number one reason why I would never buy Bitcoin anyway would be because you could get hacked and it could be all gone in a minute, in a second. Look at this guy over on Reddit. He says he bought some Bitcoin and he got hacked and he said, hard earned savings gone in a matter of minutes. I cried for two days, really painful. So all the money that he put in Bitcoin, he got hacked and they stole it. And what are you going to do once they steal it? Who are you going to go to? It's not like you can call up your credit card company and say, hey, my credit card's lost. Can you uh, cancel the credit card and get my money back? which if it's stolen, the, we'll cr cancel your credit card, get you a new one. And then every time I've had any issues, they've uh, recredited my account. So I, I would say um, I'm sticking with a credit card. Now, this guy here, he's another person on Reddit. It says, once the coins leave your wallet, they are not possible to recover without the corporation of the person who controls the private keys of the wallet. Your coins have been sent to. The only other way to get stolen, lost bitcoins back is to hack or try to trick someone who has them to send them back. You cannot reverse the chain. Let's take a look at some other information here. Now, this is like I'm saying, if you have, if you, let's say you bought $100,000 worth of bitcoin, and then, you know, what are you going to really do with it? Set on it and hope it goes up, you know? But look at this guy right here. Investing in Bitcoin is not for the faint of heart due to the high volatility. Getting in at the wrong time could lead to quick, massive losses. Over the last few months, the price has quick rally from six to 8,000 and then dropped down to 3,000. But as you can see now, it's really high. I couldn't imagine paying $47,000 for a Bitcoin and then it going to 10 cents. And I could see it happening. It says, now this is from uh, Wallet Recovery. It says, can Bitcoin recovery services help get my stolen Bitcoins back? The first and most important thing you should know is that there's absolutely no way to reverse confirm Bitcoin transactions. Once a transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, there's no way to reverse it. So there you have it. You know, why did they invent Bitcoin in the first place? Well, you can look right here and it tells you. It says that uh, creating the digital cash system is to remove third-party um, intermediaries that are traditionally required to conduct digital uh, monetary transfers. And it says that they incur significant cost. Well, some of those costs are worth it. You put all your money, let's say you, put, um, you have a million dollars, you put it in Bitcoin and it gets hacked. Now it's gone, you have nothing. At least if you put it in the bank, it's insured up to 200,000. Um, so if you had more than 200,000, you could use multiple banks. I think Bitcoin is a big Ponzi scheme. I think people are speculating on it. They're hoping to just purchase it and hope it goes up in value so they can make money off it. And I don't think that's creating value in society. I, don't, I think it's a waste of time and energy. What's your feelings on Bitcoin? Do you like it? Are you going to get some? Or do you think it's a Ponzi scheme? Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. 